Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you about the 2017 Keystone Sprinter 269 Rear Living Fifth Wheel. It's a great rear living floor plan. Let's go ahead and start up front here. We'll make our way back and then head on in. So you have this gorgeous painted front cap right here. They did a great job. One of the things you will see, the things I like about Sprinter is they have the max turn technology where this is cut way back. That way as you are trying to park, you have less chance to blow out the back window or pinch the corners of your truck because you have that greater angle right here. Also, as you are backing up, you will notice they have the mirror there. That way you can easily line up your hitch with the kingpin. Let's go ahead and take a look underneath real quick. We have a couple things under here to show you. Open the front compartment up. You will see how nice and open that is. It's clean. There's not a bunch of cords hanging everywhere. And then right over here to the side, you will see the battery box. And of course, that is vented right outside here. You also have a light up front as well as solar prep. So if you do want solar, all you have to do is buy the Furion panel, plug it in right there, and it will trickle charge the battery. You see right underneath the front compartment is a spare tire. Hopefully you never have to use that guy, but if you do, it is really easy to get to. Right over here is your auto level system. So that's great. You just touch a button. The coach will go ahead and level itself out after a minute or two. It really makes setting up and tearing down camp a breeze. We'll open this up for you so you can take a look. You see it is strut supported, so it's nice and easy to get into, but that is the pass through storage. Uh, good storage there, especially for a mid profile. And it has slam latch baggage doors. That's a big benefit. These ones actually work too. One of the things I love uh, is when manufacturers use good slam latch doors. It has a metal latch right here as well as the receiver. And so they shut every time just like they should. You have a covered hinge on there as well so you don't have rust coming down the door. You take a look right up top, you see the power awning. That's just touch of a button to roll that guy out. Same thing to go right back in. LED strip underneath that so you have light at night. Don't have to get up there and hang up all your Christmas lights. You'll also see in the heads of the uh, power awning there, you have your outside speakers. Those are pretty great too. That way, if you want to sit out here and jam out, when your awning is out, it actually plays down on your campsite rather than blasting out at your neighbors. If you take a look at the rims here, you'll see it has aluminum alloy rims, so less chance for any rust or corrosion there. And you also have nitrogen filled tires for a great ride going down the road. Electrical outlet, in case you need to plug some stuff in there. And one of the new changes they made, they did change this bottom skirting. It went from like a ripple to more of a cross hatch pattern. I really like it, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, you can see this one right over here. This is actually the old style there. So as I say, it's kind of like a ripple. I think they did a much better job on the new one. I really like it. Getting inside the coach is very simple. You have three aluminum steps. The advantage of aluminum, it doesn't rust on you. So your steps uh, will stay looking nice. They're not gonna get all nasty. Then they have the rubber strips on here as well for grip. So if it is wet from rain or morning dew, you're not gonna slip and hurt yourself. And also you have the foldable grab handle here to aid you into the coach itself. Couple things about the badges. One, uh, this is actually just kind of gimmicky, but I like it. It has the uh, 20th anniversary Sprinter badge on here. This actually lights up. Pretty neat little effect there. But another thing that I do want to talk about is this right here, and that is the Astrofoil insulation. Uh, Sprinter is one of the few manufacturers that have actually tested their units in an isolated chamber at zero degrees and 100 degrees. And as long as the furnace is running at those cold temps, there is no problem. Uh, you don't have to worry about your lines or anything freezing up on it. Performed extremely well in the high temps too. So you know it is a well-built quality unit. Right on the back here, Rear mounted ladder. This is of course, they can climb up onto the roof for any kind of maintenance. You want to get up there for a better vantage point or whatever. Uh, but having the ladder attached is a big advantage because that way you don't have to fill up your pass through with a ladder. And again, you definitely want to make sure you get up there at least once or twice a year to check out all your seals, make sure everything on the roof is looking good. As with any RV, that is the number one point of water entry. Big rear picture window here too, so you have a beautiful view out the back, especially if you're backed up to a really nice site. Right up top in the center there is a backup camera prep. So if you want backup camera, it is easy to have installed here. 
detachable 50 amp power cord there as well. As we move to the off door side, a couple other things I wanna show you. One is this right here, which is your docking station. They've conveniently located the majority of your hookups right here. So you see you have your uh, water connection. You can adjust this to quickly go from city or to tank fill. You also have your outside shower here as well as your black tank flush. Right next to that, this is the pass through. I showed you this on the other side, but the cool thing, this side does have a magnet, so it goes all the way up. Nice and easy to go ahead and put up there. Same thing, slam latch baggage door. Next to that is the two 30 pound propane tanks. They do put them both right here. Switch over right in front, makes it nice and easy to switch from one tank to the other. Last thing I wanted to show you is this, and this is your auto level controller. Uh, again, as I said, just touch the button and the coach will do the rest. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Keystone Sprinter 269 rear living fifth wheel. This particular model is in the pumice interior. Let's go ahead and start off right over here on the entertainment center. So I like the fact that it's on an angle right here. Uh, naturally the entertainment center is rather than being square or right here. So you do have better viewing angle from either way. And it's also on an arm mount so you can move that two different angles depending on where you're sitting to watch it. 40 inch TV right there. Underneath is your sound bar for superior sound quality. This is Bluetooth capable. Right down below that's your fireplace. Not only is this great looking, it also does a great job of taking the chill off in this space. This essentially is a big electric space heater. So if you have shore power and you don't want to use your propane, and again, you know, it starts to get chilly at night, just go ahead and kick this guy on and you will feel that heat here in the living room. Up top, you have the nice designer glass. If we open that up, you will see you have great storage right there above the TV. Coming over here to the side, I do want to show you, this is kind of cool, on the control panel, a couple different things. Uh, one, you'll see that they have a lot of lights in here. A couple things are lit up, so it is easy to see at night. Decal there as well. The other thing is this right here. This is the um, Camp Easy system. This is pretty neat. You can use this remote. It's attachable, of course, has all these controls, everything from your outside light to your auto level awning and all your slide controls all from that remote. So it really makes uh, setting up camp that much easier. You can go outside, especially if you're in a tight spot, maybe you know state park, something like that, where you can make sure your awning isn't gonna hit a tree. Same thing with your slide. Uh, it really just is a nice system to have. Take a look in the back here. You have two recliners, nice and comfortable. Gives you a great place to kick back and relax. Right in the center, you have a shared end table there too. Showed you the big rear picture window when we were outside, but you have side windows here as well, letting in lots of natural light, giving you great cross breeze through here. LED lights right here. Uh, you actually have LED lights throughout the entire coach, if you can see up at the ceiling there. LED lights are great because they use a uh, fraction of the energy and don't put out near the heat. While we're looking up the ceiling, a couple other things. You will see, uh, rather than using basic tape, they put the wood strips across. I really like that. It gives it, a, again, a great look, helps tie everything together. You see the AC right back here. This one does have the quick dump on it as well. So that way, as you're loading and unloading, you can just open this up. All the cool air will dump right into here rather than ducting throughout the whole coach, helping to cool down this space very quickly. You also see there's a max air fan right here. So if you don't want to run the AC, you can open up some windows, turn on that max air fan. It gets a great breeze going through here. Or, you know, again, maybe you cooked some bacon in the morning, want the smell out. That is what you'd want to use. Then right up front here, as we move into the kitchen, on, um, you have a nice big skylight there, very decorative. There is a shade on that. So that way you can close it off if you don't want the sun coming in. Uh, back to the back real quick. I do want to talk about the storage. You'll see all the storage across the top here. Again, that same decorative glass. You'll also notice these are strut supported, so it's one hand operation. Moving over into the super slide, uh, you see here you have a sofa. This is one of the most comfortable types of sofa in the RV industry. It is a tri-fold sofa. This is the what they've gone to, kind of what the sleeper sofa has evolved into, rather than a air mattress or your standard pullout where it has a, you know, a bar in the back and your mattress is about this thick. Not the case here. This is very comfortable to sit on, comfortable to sleep on. You can see this. This is what you actually sleep on is this cushion. I mean, look how thick that is. So you have a nice big cushion, extremely comfortable uh, for any guests that want to stay the night. Again, windows all throughout here. You can see you have a ton of LED lights, nice and bright in this coach. 
Right over here is your dinette. Uh, it is uh, wide enough for four people to easily sit at. Again, this also does drop down into a bed. You remove the legs, table sits right here on the rails, take the back cushions, put them on the table, and that gives you your sleeping space. They've also made it easy to access the storage. You see they put loops right here on the end so you can just lift that right up. And there you go, that gets you right down into your storage, Whoop. Uh, which is nice. That way you don't have to you know, mess with constantly lifting the seats up and down, just lift that loop up a little bit simpler. Then you move over into the kitchen. Sprinters really upgraded their kitchens this last year. They're absolutely gorgeous. They've gone to the solid surface countertops. I love the, kind of has the speckle flake in here, but it's just a, a nice bright color. They've also upgraded the sinks. You can see here, they've gone to an undermount, large single bowl stainless steel sink with the high rise, uh, you know, kind of part residential, part industrial style looking faucet. And they've added the under lighting in here as well. So big upgrades to the um, kitchens this year. On the wall right here, you see a couple things. This switch controls your under lighting. So of course you can turn that off if you don't want it. A couple USB ports as well as a plug in here and on the other side. So if you need to plug in coffee maker, toaster, blender, you have a place to do it. Then right here on the wall is your max air control for your vent up in the ceiling I showed you. Running down here, you'll see a couple different things. You have uh, nice big drawers. You can see that. Three full extension ball bearing drawers. Plenty of room for silverware, big spoons, spatulas, everything else you need to fit in there. Underneath the sink here, I like the fact they didn't put in a shelf over to the side next to the P-trap. You have plenty of room to go ahead and put a trash can there. Then right over here, you have this nice pull-out pantry. So a uh, great space for, you know, some chips or canned foods, whatever you want to put there. And then the upgraded three burner cooktop as well. You can see the grill on here. I like that it's a heavier duty grill. Looks really nice. Atwood there, the front one is high output. Then your oven here underneath if you want to do some baking. Uh, if we take a look up top, stainless steel hood with a light and fan, your microwave. Cubby hole up top there. Right over here, you can see you have good storage all the way throughout and they do have shelves built in here as you would expect, as you would want. And then additional storage there as well. Last thing I want to touch on is this right here, which is your fridge freezer combo. Again, they went stainless steel front panels, so it matches everything else in here. Eight cubic foot, a ton of space. You have a cutout right there for some taller items. This unit runs off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. And then right up above that, you will see you have additional storage. In the bathroom of the 269, you have a porcelain foot flush lever toilet right here in the corner with plenty of leg room all the way around. Big linen closet running up the side of the shower here. Plenty of storage for towels and everything else you need. Of course, LED lights in here as well, and a nice fan up top so you can quickly get the moisture out after you use the shower. Speaking of the shower, one of the things I love about Sprinter, this is a one-piece residential shower, so less chance for any kind of leaks. Nice and sturdy in here. You have a seat, or if you want to put your leg up to shave your legs or sit down, it's easy to do that. Of course, you have shelving in here as well, big skylight up top, and then right over here is your hand wand. If you take a look outside the shower, right down here is your sink top and vanity, stainless steel bowl, storage underneath, and then up above you have the mirrored medicine cabinet. The bedroom of the 269 has a slide out walk around queen bed, big window at the head of the bed there too to let in some natural light, and an LED light underneath for reading. You'll see that the bed itself is strut supported, opens up, you have lots of storage there underneath. And of course, because the struts, it is easy to get to. In the very nose of the RV here, you see your wardrobe, hanging space all the way along the bottom there, shelf along the top, and both doors do have mirrors on there. Right next to that, this opens up, you see you have good storage up top, as well as three additional full extension ball bearing drawers. And if you want washer and dryer, this one does have washer dryer prep. What you do is take these drawers out, your washer dryer prep is actually right back there. So if you don't want washer dryer, great, you have a ton of space. If you do want one, it is easy to get to. At the foot of the bed here, you'll see up top you have some additional storage. Again, the nice decorative glass there. 
right underneath hookups for your TV. And then you have a dresser here. You can see you have two large drawers on the side, three smaller full extension ones right here. Now, a lot of manufacturers, when you're talking about the storage here at the foot of the bed, the drawers are about half this size. Uh, a lot of the reason for that is because this is a 100 inch wide chassis. The spinner is four inches wide than a lot of the other manufacturers out there, especially in a mid profile fifth wheel. The four inches may not sound like a lot, but I'm telling you, it makes a huge difference when it comes to the RV world. Last thing I wanna talk about is this right up here, which is a second AC. This one is equipped with it. So that way on those hot days, you'll make sure you stay nice and cool. But all right, folks, that pretty much wraps it up. Again, this is a 2017 Keystone Sprinter 269 rear living fifth wheel. This is a beautiful fifth wheel. It's fairly lightweight at just over 9,000 pounds, can be easily towed with a three quarter ton pickup. You have a great floor plan in the back there. It's nice and open. And with the upgrades to the kitchen, this is absolutely gorgeous with a lot of storage. If you're interested and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV. Or if you want, you can always take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this walkthrough, be sure to join our YouTube channel. That way you'll be one of the first to see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.